Semiconductor shortage in U.S. is starting to cost jobs, drive up costs. This is a topic report. Dallas, huh? Dallas real time. That just, this is a stock picture here, so I, I didn't pick it for any reason. Uh, it just, just, it's just a semiconductor. Don't read anything into it just because it says Dallas, whatever that might mean. Part shortage forces months-long layoffs for thousands at Kansas City Ford GMM plants. This is from Kansas City Star. A global shortage, shortage of semiconductors has halted the production at both of Kansas City's major auto factories, General Motors' General Motors Fairfakes plant and Ford's Clay Como. Did I say Fairfakes? I like it. A new car hasn't rolled off the line of General Motors' sprawling Kansas City, Kansas factory in more than two months. The factory, which makes the Chevrolet Malibu sedan and the Cadillac XT4 crossover SUV, has been crippled by a global shortage of semiconductors that has hit the nation's automakers particularly hard. Computer chips, which power many of the technological features of today's newer cars, have been in short supply throughout the pandemic when sales of personal computers skyrocketed as millions of people transitioned to learning and working at home. Cost of TVs and smartphones expected to go up amid global semiconductor shortage. Consumers may soon have to fork out more for electronic devices due to a global microchip shortage affecting various industries. This is from Cape Talk. Experts anticipate that an industry-wide semiconductor shortage could continue until 2022 or later. Uh, it'll continue. If they raise the prices and people keep buying, it will continue because they're, they're, they're not, uh, they're not, uh, I'll just say that, you know what, I, I won't get into that. I'll just say that their motivations are not at all, uh, they're void of any sense of stewardship about the power and advantage that they have in life. The shortage was caused by a range of factors, including the COVID-19 pandemic, a fire at a Japanese chip maker factory, the closure of a U.S. chip manufacturer due to the Texas winter storm, and the added delays caused by the Suez Canal blockage. The microchips are needed to make everything from cars and washing machines to game consoles, remotes, and even pregnancy tests. Wow, even pregnancy tests affected. Tech expert Alastair Fairweather says the semiconductor shortage could push the cost of smart TVs and smartphones up by 20 to 25 percent. Tough road ahead for the U.S. firms trying to cut reliance on Taiwan chip makers. Asian countries produce more than 70 percent. See, that's the big reason. They didn't even mention Taiwan. Should have. Asian countries produce more than 70% of global semiconductors, with Taiwan and South Korea being unrivaled in high-end chip manufacturing cap capacity. And this is our political leaders, our market leaders in the United States that over and over and over again have surrendered American sovereignty, American self-reliance for, for profit, and to be able to make money outside of the United States of America so they can convert from being service providers to makers of humans. And that's what they want to do. They want to get into business of making humans. And they can do it thanks in large part to this system, this worldwide system that they come up with. How it is that China could threaten the United States with death over the COVID crisis is because we handed all of our critical medical needs over to China. China is a a fascistic communistic they they blend fascism and communism like nobody fascistic communistic capitalistic they got all three blended together uh ruthless regime that murders people for being gay and this is who the corporations have chosen to largely depend on china's hawaii tries to blame global chip shortage on u.s sanctions yeah that's from CNBC. Biden, U.S. must step up our game amid semiconductor shortage. Okay, great. So there you go. That's, that's that. 